The UK has three native woodpeckers and all of different sizes and a varying degree of rarity. Starting off with the least rare and the second largest, this is the greater spotted woodpecker. There's roughly 250,000 of them. They are everywhere, they're class and I love them. Next on the UK woodpecker rarity scale is the biggest and most colourful and that is the green woodpecker. There's roughly 100,000 of them. They've got an absolutely amazing sound, they're weirdly hard to see but they're wicked, I love them as well. But then we have the third one. This is the smallest and easily the rarest of the native woodpeckers this is the lesser spotted woodpecker there's roughly 1000 of them and that's a bird that most people in the uk would never have seen including myself. It's extremely rare here in the UK, but also extremely small as well, measuring just up to 15 centimeters. And to give you an idea of how big that actually is, here is my iPhone 11. This is the same size as a lesser spotted woodpecker. And to show you how hard this is, I'm gonna hide this in shot now, and it's your job to find it. Good luck. Now, as you're searching around for the lesser spotted iPhone 11, I'm gonna show you some household items that are the same size as the lesser spotted woodpecker. And item number one, banana. This very dusty sellotape holder. Four citronella scented candle tea lights. Three AA batteries stacked on each other. The very glasses from my face this way. The length of this James Blunt Back to Bedlam CD album. Got some classics on here, you know, but you get the point. What I'm trying to say is, the lesser spotted woodpecker is quite small. But as I've been showing you that lot down there, did you locate my phone, the lesser spotted iPhone? It's here. If you found it, well done. Go and use that talent to find rare animals. If not, don't worry about it. But now you can see the enormity of the task that lies ahead. And that's just my iPhone in my garden. Now imagine it's a rare bird. In a place like this. This is Brandon Marsh Nature Reserve in Coventry, my hometown. Land of the sky blues, city of villains, host to rare woodpeckers. Now I know the lesser spotted woodpecker is right here thanks to Twitter, which is quite fitting when you think about it really. In September 2022, I saw a post that showed a lesser spotted woodpecker which had been caught and ringed right here at Brandon Marsh Nature Reserve. So as 2023 came about, I thought it would be a great opportunity for me as spring hit to try and find the lesser spotted woodpecker. And as spring is finally coming into play, there aren't that many leaves on the trees, which could make it easier for me to spot this bird. But spring as well is also the height of the season for bird activity. This is when it all kicks off. So hopefully we get some action. So I set off on my journey to try and locate this rare little bird. And very conveniently, there was a signpost that said woodpecker trail. So obviously I had to head down that way in search. And if we take a look at a map for Brandon Marsh, this is where the woodpecker trail circumnavigates. With with this place here, new hair cover, looking like it could be the best bet. So I got looking around this area and it was looking quite beautiful, I can't lie. Flowers are popping up and there was a lot of bird call going on, so it seemed like a good area to be looking at. But after a few hours and no sightings or calls, I decided to venture off around Brandon to see what else it had to offer. Not far from new hair cover was this grey leg goose just chilling out up on a bank. And a bit further on, I had some ducklings run across the path in front of me, but I was too slow to get the camera ready, so here's some rubbish footage of the back end of them. I'll then got into one of the hides and from there there was this nice looking shoveler and also this swan. I left the hide and I walked a little further to then be greeted by this Canada goose. What's up with you? At first I thought it was angry with me but then I quickly realised it just wanted a feed so I watched what it nibbled on and tried to feed it from my hand. Yeah, watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Ooh, that nice. Is that nice? Hey! Hey! <laughs> you snatched that. That was nasty of you, wasn't it? Made a mate. With a new friend acquired, I carried on walking to then stumble upon something that made my entire day. So I'm actually here right now with one of my favourite birds in the entirety of the UK. Something that I always have big struggles trying to actually film. That is the Eurasian Jay. Look at him, he's just sat down there. All nicely for us. Such a privilege for me to this because normally I hear them and you very rarely see them um, as close as this anyway. But oh, 
easily one of the most beautiful birds in this country it's absolutely stunning it's not the lesser spotted woodpecker we were after but for me it's a great alternative now you can find these all over the uk in woodlands and you'll mostly hear them rather than see them because they're quite elusive and shy they eat a variety of things like seeds and nuts but they love acorns so they're usually spotted scavenging around oak trees they're unbelievably stunning and this for me was a great time but we must move on and search for this wood Pecker. I gave it a week or two before heading back out to Brandon Marsh and this time I brought a friend along with me. Big man here, John. Don't think I've ever seen a woodpecker, so... A any woodpecker? I don't know, I can't think of it now. <laughs> and with that knowledge not exactly filling me with any hope whatsoever from an identification point of view, we head out in search of the rare lesser spotted woodpecker. Just off into this bit, you can actually get all three native woodpeckers so you can get the lesser spots the greater spots and the green woodpeckers all here and as we waited for a sign of the lesser spotted woodpecker we did hear the green and greater spotted woodpecker and eventually they both decided to come and say hello it's great to be able to see these guys share the same area of woodland and be so close to each other they eventually went away so it was back to us waiting around again until this time something happened <laughs> Okay, we, we just heard a woodpecker make a little screech. Yeah, that's it, where is he? Can you hear that noise? I can hear the loud. Wait, so he just chip, moved. Chip, chip. <gasps> that's the greater spotted. I've just seen the greater spotted, just up there. Where is he? Chip, 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 chip. There's a real high pitch one, that is it, right there. I can't see it though. But that is it, can you hear it? I can hear it, I can hear it. Oh, he's going up the tree, I can see him, I can see him. Oh no, it's a tree creeper. Oh, I can see it as well, it's just gone by that branch. So this is what a tree creeper looks like, just making his way up. It's a really cool bird, but that ain't it. And then unfortunately, the heavens started to open and we found ourselves getting drenched. That ain't looking good, is it? We were so close, yet so far away from the rare, lesser spotted woodpecker. So we ran to cover, but then decided to call it a day there and rearranged for in a week's time. A week flew by and we were back at Brandon to hunt down this woodpecker. The day before had rained quite heavily, so I went into this attempt full of hope. And straight away, we were welcomed by this song thrush belting out a tune, and then a distant flyby from this heron, and also a lovely looking nuthatch was looking around for food. A few other birds were also making themselves known as we finally got to to our spot and almost straight away the fun started that there's one that, right there right there where is it he's it, it, there oh, 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 oh yes 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 i see i see i see uh. right, can you see it where is it oh they're so small they can just sit on a branch and you won't see it nothing no and that was another failure to add to the list we were being given the runaround by these little guys and you can see now why so few people see them you could be as we are practically right next to them and you still can't locate them and annoyingly after that burst at the start there was nothing else to alert us for the next six hours we were hanging around waiting and getting to the point where we were about to give it up until eventually john yeah oh it's here is it here? Yeah, it's here. Wait, it's on. It's on the back. It's on the back. Uh, between these trees on the back, it's sort of like climbing up. Can you see it? No. It's climb. It's. Uh, I can't. I'm trying to film it. Hold on. Yeah, I've got it. I've got it. It's. It's going up the tree. Yeah. It's sat on the tree. Hold on. I've got to come this way. Oh no! He's gone. 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 <laughs> Have you got it? Have you got it? Got it. We got, yes, yeah. we got it, 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 we got it. It was a lesser spotted woodpecker. Oh, go on, have you got it then? Let's see, let's there see, let's go. see. Have a look. And here it is, the extremely rare and elusive lesser spotted woodpecker. It gave us the run around, but finally I was able to capture this footage of a truly wonderful bird feeding away. Hopefully this fella goes on to breed and bump up the numbers of the species here in Britain. And it's amazing to think that in just this small area of woodland, in my hometown of Coventry, you can get all three native woodpeckers and it's been great filming them for this video. Brandon Marsh is well worth a visit for a variety of reasons with these birds clearly being one but also these as well. <laughs>